Hi, um, my name's Eloise and uh, the devotion that I'm going to read from today is from the book of Mark um, in chapter 14. And I'm just going to pray for us before we begin. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for um, your word. Thank you that we can remember who you are at Easter time and what you've done for us. Um, and I just pray that you'd help us to understand as we read it now. Amen. Great. So I'm going to read verse one um, to nine of Mark chapter 14. Now the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread were only two days away and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were scheming to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or the people may riot. While he was in Bethany, reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Some of those present were saying, in indignant, were saying indignantly to one another, why this waste of perfume? It could have been sold for more than a year's wages and the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you. And you can help them any time you want, but you will not always have me. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. I love this passage. And as I was reading it again, um, I was really challenged by um, the woman's total utter devotion to Jesus that was something that stood out to me um, we see him um, at Bethany um, reclining at the table um, at this dinner party with um, two different groups of people the first one the Pharisees and the teachers of the law um, who were scheming to arrest Jesus because they want to kill him are being um, very judgmental and they are lovers of um, themselves and also um, they make an idol of um, money and they're materialistic so when they see this jar of perfume being broken um, open for Jesus's sake it angers them and then the second group is um, just this single woman she comes in and in other accounts um, we know that she is actually the town prostitute so she was at at the bottom of um, society, a total outcast. And um, she doesn't um, stand before Jesus in pride and say, I'm withholding um, this and this and this from you, but she just gives all that she has um, in recognition of who he is. And it seems like quite an extreme reaction. She gives like, I think they say more than, um, yeah, in verse five, it could have been sold for more than a year's wages. It's a lot of money that this woman um, is pouring out for Jesus's sake. And it just shows the like extent of her devotion to him. Um, and then Jesus um, later on gives the reason for what she's doing. In verse eight, he says that she's pouring perfume on his body to prepare for his burial. So we see like the reason of her her total and utter devotion is that she has recognised who Jesus is, that he is the Messiah who has come to die for his people, to set them free um, from their sin. And um, yeah, I think I find it really challenging um, when I'm feeling spiritually a bit dry or distant from Jesus or when I'm tempted to withhold things from him, whether that's different areas of my life or um, sin that I don't want to give up or um, I know the Lord is calling me to do something and I'm withholding myself from that. Um, the thing that um, thaws our icy hearts when they're hard towards the Lord is looking towards him and remembering again who he is and what he's done for us. Um, so we know that he, as the woman recognises, is the Messiah, is King, he is King of our lives and and that he has died and also rose again, so has victory over death and he brings us new life and joy in him. And as we gaze upon his beauty and sit um, 
in his temple we can appreciate those things and then out of that flows I think a new devotion um to the Lord so yeah that's kind of what I was thinking about um as I read it and um yeah I hope that um you're also challenged as you read and reminded um of what a wonderful saviour that we have um, have a, a great day and um, I'll be praying for you as you watch this and um, continue with the rest of your day and your week.